Spinning objects behave in strange ways. Let's explore two mind-blowing experiments to understand why. To explain a simple concept, spinning objects have angular momentum, a vector quantity that measures how much rotation they have. Total angular momentum must always be conserved without outside forces. Right now, the tire itself is spinning, so the tire has angular momentum. Let's call this amount L. However, because I'm standing still on the table, the rest of the system, me and the table, has no angular momentum. Now, I flip the tire 180 degrees. Something weird happens. I start spinning. Why? Because by flipping the tire, I reverse its angular momentum from L to negative L. But angular momentum must always stay the same. Since the tire's direction changed, my body and the table must rotate in the opposite direction to keep the total angular momentum balanced. To compensate for the tire flipping, I start spinning with 2L in the opposite direction, maintaining the original angular momentum of the system. The heavier or faster the spinning tire, the stronger the effect it gets. Now, let's look at another strange effect. A normal tire hanging from a rope just falls over because gravity pulls it down. But what happens if I spin it first before letting it go? Instead of falling, the spinning tire starts moving in a circle. Why does this happen? When the tire spins, it acquires angular momentum. This angular momentum vector points along the axis of rotation. Gravity also acts on the tire, exerting a downward force that makes the tire fall. This force creates another angular momentum that acts perpendicular to the tire's angular momentum. The cross product of these two vectors causes the axis of rotation to move in a circular manner. Angular momentum is everywhere, from bicycles to satellite. These two simple experiments show how spinning objects behave in fascinating and unexpected ways.